knowledge has always been an essential force for a country's economic development. The knowledge revolution, leading us into a post-industrial age, requires us to cope with new challenges, including those related to human development and the global environment. The National Research Council helps Sri Lanka to achieve science and knowledge-based developed country status. In 1999, the National Research Council was formed as a special unit in the Presidential Secretariat. And the, may, the mandate of the National Research Council was uh, to facilitate research and development in the country and to support the scientists. Late Professor Aries Cole, the founder of the National Research Council, had a vision for the NRC, and that was to promote research and development in this country to support the national agenda. The next chairs who came to the NRC was Professor Eric Karanayaka, Professor Tanaka De Silva, and the present chairman, Professor Hemanta Donampahala, who continues in this long journey of bringing scientific research to the forefront. In 2007, uh, we were given a presidential directive which made the NRC more strong. And in 2016, the National Research Council was formally established by an act of parliament which made the NRC a statutory body. The NRC enables knowledge acquisition through research and is one of the main institutions that provide necessary financial grants for essential research conducted by scientists in Sri Lanka. The aim of the NRC is to fulfill the interests of the researchers in Sri Lanka. NRC is expanding its services by signing agreements with the public and private partnership COVID task force control and also we have fulfilled the uh, new ideas, uh, new inventions and innovations in the field of nanotechnology, antivenom synthesis, alternative remedies for medical disorders, industrial problems, forest conservation and agricultural industries, research related to these areas. The NRC enables knowledge acquisition through research and is one of the main institutions that provide necessary financial grants for essential research conducted by scientists in Sri Lanka. In line with these goals, here are just a few of the success research stories of the NRC. The development of commercial prototypes of multi-purpose drones is co-funded by the NRC and Pristine Technologies Private Limited and implemented by the University of Moratua. In this project, two portable drones named Seagull and Sea Bell with precision aerial surveying capability have been developed. Both of these drones are fully developed in Sri Lanka using the components that you can purchase online like the uh, frame, the uh, airframe, the body, the components like motors, uh, propellers, uh, sensors, etc. So what we have done as University Moratua is uh, to put the RTK GPS sensor unit on this drone and also uh, we developed the parachutes to uh, endure uh, the lifetime of the drone. And also we have got uh, the battery pack fully developed in Sri Lanka, which is based on the lithium-ion 18650 battery cells. So the big brother, Sea Bell, can fly more than one hour and uh, take photographs which can be put together to form the map uh, of aerial uh, surveying map with the accuracy of uh, four centimeters. And the young brother, C. Bell can do the same uh, with an accuracy of about six centimeters. There's a specific software we have developed, our team has developed uh, to uh, plan the entire mission to, to be ready to any situation uh, like fail safe, 
and flying qualities, uh, path of the map, taking photographs, everything is preloaded into the drone using this new software we call Draw Station. So that is how we have built the two drones uh, to the highest level of capability. As the university, we want to commercialize these drones and that is uh, one of the objectives of this project. While doing that, we uh, give birth to new startups, high-tech companies and our students can get employment, jobs there rather than going and work out in some other company. So this trend is now being set up and that is why this uh, project, uh, NRC, Public-Private Partnership Project is uh, extremely important. So going forward, I think this kind of initiatives will help to earn some reputation uh, as Sri Lanka, uh, which is contributing technology to the rest of the world. Congenital hypothyroidism is a one of the conditions that can cause mental retardation in children, but it is one of the conditions that we can prevent if we detect that condition in early life. So most of the countries, they do newborn screening uh, by collecting a blood sample from the baby in the first few days of life and then analyze it to detect this condition. We need to collect a sample to a filter paper uh, from the baby's heel and then send that sample to the lab where it can be analyzed. The Nuclear Medicine Unit started a pilot project in way back in 2006 and we collaborated with the teaching hospital Mahamodara and uh, we find out that it's very easy to perform if we have necessary equipment. Therefore, we uh, make a request to the National Research Council in 2008 and where they provide us initial funding to initiate this program. Thereafter, the National Research Council of Sri Lanka funded us again to improve the pa uh, parents' awareness and to make awareness among healthcare professionals on this program. Uh, since then, this program geared and now it's become a national program since 2016 where all the children born in Sri Lanka are subjected to congenital hypothyroidism screening in the country. Fifty thousand Sri Lankans suffer snake envenomation each year, resulting in significant morbidity and mortality rates. The best method for the management of snake envenomation is the administration of snake antivenom as early as possible. Delays in administering this antivenom lead to complications such as kidney failure, bleeding in major organs, respiratory failure, and death. Despite snake bites being a major medical problem in Sri Lanka, the country has never had species-specific antivenom. Instead, antivenom which lacks specificity is imported at a cost of at least 6.3 million US dollars. The ability to develop a new freeze-dried polyspecific antivenom was identified by a research team from the University of Peradeniya. Clinical trials for the antivenom for Crate, Tel Caravala, Russell's Viper or Tithpolanga, Saw Scaled Viper or Valipolanga, Humpnose Viper, Gatapolanga or Kunakatua and Cobra 
or NAYA will be carried out soon in national hospitals. Zero hunger is also one of the sustainable development goals. Working towards this, the NRC has funded the Field Crops Research and Development Institute or FCRDI in Mahai Lupallama and the Rice Research and Development Institute to ensure food security through developing climate smart crop varieties and cultivation techniques in Sri Lanka. <laughs> आडू जाले तत्व यात्रे वावला होंदा अस्तर ना क्लब आगत है कि ये बार गया निष्पाद ने केरी में अभी हो गया अपने लेबुना मास तूने कांदे नाडू पर बेर दिया पुरी ये टा में वर्षा बहुत इतना तत्व ये तीन आडू जाले प्रमाण या ये प्रमाण है भारत चिकन ला ये लास्तर ना क्लब आगत बुलवा बीजी तुलसी � Tahu dulu tak? Me me adu jalan tak? Tapi itu susu susu warga teri macam kerjanya, no? Apa itu? No doubt screening kerjanya, no? Aisyah dah apa itu? Guruh hati, no? Aisyah guruh hati apa itu? Inasi via tu dia dah tamal lebu ni. Pada ni kali tamal ni, ni loko balpen mati ni. Tengi ni kali ni apa? Mereka wahalai kaya ni apa? Westing araksha kerjanya ni kali ni 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 Tora agen ini misalnya kreatif macam ini, kan? Mereka tora agak tu warga, apa? Ani kau warga sama agak abis jalan ni kerela. Ni yang orang tua tu dia macam hacky aga. Ani kau warga orang tu, macam handul na dia la. Nama perbezaan handul na macam warden ready dino kiri macam better senang kreatif macam ini. Pest and drought resistant, high yielding rice, chili. Maize and mung bean varieties have already been developed along with drip and sprinkler packages for chili. First of all, we carried out one uh, survey to identify the present status of fishery, the sea cucumber fishery, and also the socio-economic status of sea cucumber fishers in Sri Lanka. So uh, by that, we identify there are nine sea cucumber species prominent in sea cucumber commercial catchers. And however, that we found uh, only the low value species are uh, increasing in the harvest and while declining the harvest of high value species. Also, we found the economic uh, values of the sea cucumbers uh, is reducing. Therefore, the fishers get a very uh, minimum amount of uh, return on investment. We identified there are two types of sea cucumber processing. One is domestic level processing and second one is the industrial level processing. As a part of the research, so we have developed the processing steps. So we standardized the processing steps and uh, thereafter uh, each and every step we standardize how to do and what to do and uh, what, uh, what not to do. So uh, by that we have developed one informative poster and we have uh, actually we distributed those uh, posters among all the processors in Sri Lanka. They happily now they are following these steps to standardize their processing. This uh, research is able to uh, identify the present status of sea cucumber fishery in Sri Lanka and also uh, we standardize the processing to improve the processing value and also finally we produce one value added product which receives a local patent from Sri Lanka. So by this, uh, this industry can be improved and uh, we can uh, bring millions of dollars to Sri Lanka to, uh, to develop our economy.
I was here about 25 years before. We were assigned to see the condition of this particular bridge. So I was the member at that time. The team was led by the Professor M.P. Ranavira. So we took almost nine months to complete this assignment. Sri Lanka Railway want to know the present condition of the bridge at that time and the remaining life of the, this bridge. If there is a, any repair or retrofitting required, the detail of that. After the nine months, we submitted the report. During the, our study, we understand that there are so many research gaps and the lack of theories and so forth. As soon as we finished this uh, assessment, we started the, doing the research on this area with the help of the funding from the National Research Council. Our work has been recognized not only locally, but also internationally.